Welcome. I am Professor J. N. Mandal, Department of Civil Engineering, IIT Bombay. I will take the course on geosynthetic testing laboratory. Geosynthetic testing laboratory is very important area in geosynthetics engineering. The area of geosynthetics is a well established and exciting field with new uses being developed regularly. The vast majority of geosynthetics are made from polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyester, etc. When placed in the ground, these textile fabric are called geosynthetics. In a growing and ever-changing area such as geosynthetics, it should come as no surprise that a completely unified set of worldwide standard and test method is currently not available. Yet the activity towards such an ultimate goal is very intense. Organization that are involved in this activity are spread across the entire spectrum of potential user, raw material supplier, manufacturer, manufacturer representative, contractor, and installer, testing organization, design engineering firm, owner, regulator, research institute, as well as universities. Within this group, one will open here reference to either index or performing test. Many of the test methods are not fully harmonized between the countries as far as their test procedure are concerned. There are currently about 300 geosynthetic standards. In this lecture, any ASTM, American Society for Testing Material, ISO, International Standard Organization, BIS, British Indian Standard, and GRI will be discussed. Data developed from conventional textile test in most cases do not address the specific need of civil and higher engineers. The test that differ between the textile and geosynthetics are those which involve physical properties, mechanical properties, hydraulic property, environmental properties, and degradation consideration. These are generally new tests orientated completely towards the geosynthetics. The ability of a geosynthetics to perform in a particular application is a function of its properties. The geosynthetics properties provide engineering design characteristics for fabric comparison and proper selection for a specific application. In this lecture, geosynthetics properties will be discussed within the context of their engineering significance, data sources, method of evaluation and specification, the specific procedure are recommended in order that a consistent determination of each property can be made. The main objective of this course are 
a working knowledge of the physical property which are necessary for classification and proper selection of geocentric material. Be able to perform direct and evaluate geosynthetic physical testing in proper way. It is necessary to understand the variability of geosynthetic properties, the disparity between the published data and procedural variation within the method used to obtain a particular properties. It is imperative that the properties be determined with some precision for proper evaluation and selection of geosynthetics. Geosynthetics have been widely used throughout the world for over four decades and geosynthetics specifier had adopted many different test methods to meet their immediate needs. The geosynthetic testing to be performed in laboratory is then detailed in step by step operation followed by observation and record table along with the graph to be plotted where such are necessary. Figure depicting the laboratory geosynthetic testing apparatus are given with full detail. Lastly, specimen calculation for each test with complete observation recorded on the data sheet and graphs are provided. This should enable student to compute the result of experiment very easily. This course is for all civil engineering students in India and abroad, in particular where civil and textile engineering students have to undergo practical courses in geocentric testing laboratory. In other words, this course should prove beneficial to geotechnical, transportation, water resources, environmental, coastal, and structural engineering, mining, agriculture, bioengineering, practical engineer, manufacturer, and supplier of geosynthetic testing, research, development organization, universities, consultant, and contractor, and those involved in research in standardization of geosynthetic engineering. There are major applications of geosynthetic material. You can see this is the roadway or the pavement as a flexible pavement where there is a reflection cracking you can use this geosynthetic material. Even then you can use both the geogrid and geotextile for the construction of the roadway at the pavement. Even some other super light material geofoam can be used for the construction of the embankment on soft soil. Then this is the reinforced soil retaining wall or slope. So you can make use of the geogrid and geotextile material for the construction of reinforced soil wall and slope. Therefore, you should know how to perform the geosynthetic testing, what kind of testings are required, what kind of specification or properties of the geosynthetic material are required to design the road or for the design of the reinforced soil wall or slope. And you can also make a greenery, what is the green structure, which is environmentally friendly. There, it can be used also for the 
repairing or rehabilitation or for the new construction of the railway. Here you can see that geocentric material is used beneath the railway. You can use the roadway, other in pavement, also is in the rigid structure, how the geocentric material has been used. It is geotextile tube, can be used near to the seashore for the erosion control. It can use for the geofoam. It is a very super light material. It density about 100 times less than the soil. It can use for the construction of the embankment on subsoil or you can construct the reinforced soil retaining wall because lateral pressure is drastically reduced for the inclusion of the geofoam material on the back of the reinforced retaining structure. You can use here the geosynthetic material for the asphalt pavement rehabilitation. You find in Bombay many places, also surrounding many places across the world and in India, you can fly. There is a lot of reflection cracking and the foothold. You can make use of this geosynthetic material to prevent the cracking. So here is shown an asphalt pavement rehabilitation on how it can be used for the synthetic material. So what will be the proper kind of properties are required? That is very important what specification you should do, what kind of test you should do for the use of geosynthetic material in asphalt pavement rehabilitation. Here basal reinforcement embankment on the soft soil. You can use for the breakwater reinforcement and the filtration. You can use composite or the geocontainer system in the riverbank protection. You can see many soil is eroded, many places around the wall. You can use for the geocomposite material or geocontainer system for the riverbank protection. This is another that construction for artificial island using the geotextile tube. So this is the geotextile tube, which is laid down near to the seashore or artificial lake. You can, you can construct the artificial lake. When there is no space and you want to make use of the sea for the rehabilitation, you can use the geocentric material for the uh, for, uh, for the extension of, of, of the roads or the place where it is required for any other kind of the construction. So here construction of artificial island using geotextile tube. This is construction of the construction of the longest sea crossing bridge with geotextile tube system. This is another kind of the erosion protection in irrigation canal and most of the time you can see in the irrigation canal you, you provide with, it, with, with the concrete and after the passage of time there is a development of crack and there is a development of the seepage. So you can provide proper kind of the geomembrane material and then it can be protected for the irrigation canal. There will be no seepage, the water can be controlled. You can see the, not only in the Channel, you can use for the earthen dam, you can use for the reservoir, the geomembrane material which is an impermeable material. So therefore one should know not only for the properties of the geosynthetic material but also one should know what will be the properties of the geomembrane material which is impermeable material. Here you can show that pipeline laying on the sea floor for Waste disposal is you know, one of the latest factor and how you can use the geocentric material, even the landfill construction where you can use all kind of the material. You can control the contamination, you can control the safety, you can control the gas, you can make use of this landfill by making use of the geocentric material. You can uh, you can have the cooking gas, you can have the electricity. So there is a lot of 
advantage of the use of the synthesis material, but what is more important that you should use proper kind of the geosynthetic material in proper application and proper kind of specification. You can use for the pond liner, what for the fishing and that what water is leaking, you can use for the pond liner, you can use for the reinforced soil wall, which I have already explained earlier. You can use reinforced soil with gabion, gabion surface. This is another gabion, you know, the hexagonal mesh. Uh, it is a galvanized mild steel mesh, and you can have it in the form of Q, one meter by one meter by one meter, and top one lids is open, and you fill up with this gravel and compact it, and you can construct the wall. So you can make the reinforced soil wall using the gabion. Here is that river bank. Here is the river bank erosion protection with sand fill material. You can use the sand fill material in the form of loop of the geosynthetic material. So these are the some of the application, including you can construct the road embankment, uh, soap failure, repair here. You can use slope erosion protection for the revegetarian. You can use the subgrade stabilization load transport platform for storm water management system. You can use subsoil drainage and artificial trap sports, sports field. You can also use the geosynthetic material for transformation of the wastewater impoundment into Yang Cheng Reservoir in South Singapore, Tinjun Eco City. So these are the sum of the application of the geosynthetics material, you can see that there are various applications of geosynthetic material in civil engineering. But what is most important is that for any design, you need proper kind of the specification. What material you should select? What will be their property? What property is required for a particular application? What strength? What strain? So that is more important. So if you do not perform proper kind of the testing, proper kind of the specification, you cannot specify, you cannot design this all for all these applications. Therefore, it is very important that you should know the basic properties of physical property, mechanical property, chemical property, environmental property with for all kind of the geosynthesis material. I think it will be very much useful for this course and you can gather a lot of knowledge on this courses geosynthetics testing. Thank you.